I was just wondering if you've thought about that, why music is so important in early childhood for their development and things. Yeah, I think about it a lot. I don't have a lot of formal educational background and I don't have a ton of research to cite, but I do feel extremely aware of having watched kids over the many years that I've been working with preschool aged kids and around that age, seeing the benefits of music. I remember one one boy who was in my music class at a preschool and he was incredible, so engaged, came in, sat right down next to me, asked for songs, knew every word, acted everything out, was just like a delight and seemed to enjoy being there so much. I actually got pulled aside by his classroom teacher saying, I'm not sure that I'm going to let so-and-so come to your class today because he is the most difficult problem child in my mm -hmm. entire class. And I was completely flabbergasted because I didn't mm -hmm. see any of that. And that just means to me, okay, this kid finds joy and expression in music and maybe has a hard time sitting down in a classroom. In my class, they're moving, they're doing things, they're using their bodies. And it, so there's that, you can think of just that one kid who needs the music in order to actually express their best self mm -hmm. to learning about feelings through song, learning about learning more academic or skills through music. We remember those things so much more, right? I guess so. Like, isn't there that there might be giant song about like, the solar system that everybody yes. remembers? <laughs> remembers you, like... you know that one. <laughs> <laughs> I always give the example that my, my bank account number the only reason I know it is because I sing it like this, da, 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 all the numbers. That's, <laughs> uh, that's how, when I sit, I write a, the back of a check, I'm like, da, 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 da. You know, and that's how I write it down. <laughs> so I taught my daughter to learn the, our telephone mm, number, mm. that attaching information to music allows our minds to remember it better. Another thing that is really fantastically important, I think, is the feeling of a shared experience and mm -hmm. connecting with other people. So when you're in a room and we're, you're singing with lots of other people, all singing the same words, making the same sounds together, vibrating, like physically vibrating your mm -hmm. body by mm -hmm. making those sounds and they're blending with the vibrations of everybody else in that space. I just, it feels almost impossible not to feel connected to those people. Mm, yeah. And I think that is a way that maybe has not been explored enough that mm. we could be breaking down a lot of barriers. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that literally you're interconnected. You're literally the vibrations, the sounds coming, you know, are connecting with each other. I mean, that is true. And it's like, you're in rhythm, you're in sync, you know, rather than us just always being like that so many times, like we're all doing our own thing, like these little ping pong balls. And like, we're, we come in conflict with each other because we're just alive. And in this one moment, we're all like doing something together in, in a real, it's like a real unification. Yeah. That is really beautiful. Yeah. And I don't know that people, it's not always something that is verbalized, but I do think that it's extremely powerful and the memory of even as adults, like going to a concert, what is Mm. remembering what that feels like looking around everybody singing mm. that one song by yeah. the artist. It's just like this incredible sense of community, mm. I think, that comes out of that, that, that a lot of times gets lost. And on, a, on the deepest level, to me, the feeling of other is one of the things that I think creates the most conflict yeah. in our lives, right? If you mm. see someone as other, it's easy to justify hating them, being hurtful to them, excluding them, judging them. Mm -hmm. If you see them as self or as somehow connected to yourself, mm -hmm. we change all of that. We accept, we are curious, we love sometimes unconditionally, we, we allow those people in, we protect. Mm -hmm. And that's just a very different way 
of interacting with other humans. So I do think music is incredibly important in creating that kind of feeling of community. I, I know as you were describing that moment, right? Like when you're at a concert and you're all, I, I had that moment right before the pandemic, I saw Radiohead and we all sang like 19,000 of us sang like yes. that song together. And oh my God, like it's transcendent. And I think I had, yeah. it had been so long since I had been at a concert like that, that I had forgotten about that experience. Thank you, universe, for reminding me about this experience because you get so caught up in parenting and day to day and all the different things, all the responsibilities, and you forget that that these transcendent experiences exist. And I right. think of my daughter who's 16 now, like she sings in a choir in school and she does the like higher level now, Carrell choir, and she's does all the singing. She has her own challenges and struggles in a lot of different areas in life. But when she's singing and it's like it all, everything drops away. Like she, she has like a, a pain, an uh, amplified pain syndrome that she deals with. And, but like it, it all drops away. Like when she's singing, like it's, and then that it's just the, the power of it is amazing and so accessible. I think to people, that's the thing is we forget how accessible music is well, to us. Yes. Although that that in-person experience was mm. not just like you were saying during mm. COVID. That was like a very, that was a painful time, yeah. I think, as a musician, of course, for everybody. But during that time, I did a lot of online concerts. I actually did concerts or I did a half an hour of music starting in March, end of March, 2020, every weekday through until into the summer yeah. uh, because kids weren't getting music at school. So mm. I came on every day thought of a theme, sang the same song to start, same song to say goodbye, and just talked to them and sang every day. And mm. now that I, my concerts are back, and thank God people really want to come again because it gives me life and it's so beautiful and amazing to be able to actually have that experience again of making music with all these people in a room, people come up to me and they're like, you got me through the pandemic. You got my yeah. family through the pandemic. Mm. Just every day you came on, there it was. The music was there, your voice, your face, the like connection with my kid. That was what kept us going every day. And oh. Now I feel like that's, it's so fantastic and I can sing with you in person and we can have a whole room full of hundreds or thousands of people, like just all singing together. And we all know these songs, I'm singing you the songs and it just singing them together with that. It just feels, it feels incredible. It's, I feel so grateful to be able to do that again, because when I did it during the pandemic, I was not hearing them. Yeah. I had to imagine them oh, look yeah. right into my phone and just be like, I am singing to you. <laughs> whoever you are. 